we, we couldn't have done this without without Lucy Council. So could I just call on, on Annie uh, just to say a few words about the processes that went through uh, to get Council on board to then finally then press the send button to say, you know, we're submitting this this grant application. Take a bow, Annie. <laughs> Um, hi everybody and uh, thanks for coming along today. Yeah, we were, um, first of all I just want to really acknowledge the work that Zen Inc has done. It is incredible to work with such a professional organisation. And so um, because the, the, the battery uh, grant applications pretty much came out when just before Christmas the guidelines came out and then the applications opened on the um, 24th, no sorry, it was the 30th of January and had to be actually completed by the 24th of February. So without all of the work that Zen Inc has actually done um, in, in the lead up to this, there's no way that we could have actually have got this uh, battery application all together. So it was absolutely fantastic. So um, we had numerous discussions within, within council. First of all, with all of the technical people to understand about you know, what the battery does and pretty much what Jeff has actually explained to you. And then we also had the executive team. So all the stakeholders, right from um, our environment, our uh, finance, our planning, um, procurement, all of those stakeholders were in within council were taken through how this all works and what this is actually going to do for, for Noosa. And they said, yeah, you know, yep, we think this is a really good idea to actually go into um, partnership with Zen, Zen Inc and with Yarra Energy Foundation to actually put that battery application in. And then we had a workshop with the councillors and um, the councillors also understood about the battery, how it all works. So we really have taken them, I think we started our first workshop with them back in, I think it was June or Ju July last year, mm. to get them to understand that this is part of the energy transition. This is what's actually happening. It's coming down the track. Let's be prepared so that we can take advantage of all these opportunities um, that, that Jeff and, and Viv have actually just explained. So we then uh, had that workshop with council and they said, yes, okay, yep, you can actually put that application in, in partnership with uh, Zen Inc and with Yarra Energy Foundation. So that's just the first part of the process. Um, was really to get that application in in a very short time and then from then on we actually have to go right through very much continue that community engagement once we actually decide exactly where this battery is actually going to go we actually have to go through and do the procurement process and all of these steps actually have to go through all of the approvals right through council so they understand what the community engagement is going to be they understand what the procurement process is actually going to be and the whole of the project plan to actually get this um, up and running. So under the, a lot of people have asked about whether um, we actually have to have planning applications in for this battery. Well again, just before Christmas, the state planning um, minister actually came out and said under Schedule 6 of the Planning Act, community batteries under the size of a pad mount of um, 15 metres squared are actually exempt from the planning scheme. So you don't actually have to go through the whole planning scheme applications. However, that doesn't actually mean that we stop going, okay, great, we've got that, let's tick it off. So we actually have to go through all of those requirements to get the community on board. We also have to look at things like um, native title. Is there any native title implications over that piece of land? What else do we actually have to do to enable um, to have a successful community battery in there? So we want to bring all of this, uh, all of the community on board wherever these batteries are going to go. So again, I just want to thank um, Zen Inc for all the work that they've done to enable us to actually put in that that battery that application for the the grant funding. So yeah, that'll do for me. Let's start. Thanks, Ed.